guys, Jobus34 back again with a whopper of a review. You know that my true love uh, usually evolves around three genres. Star Wars, horror, a little bit of superheroes, but the top three is definitely Star Wars, horror, and of course, Kaiju, Godzilla, Kong, the whole, the whole gambit. I've had X Plus for the most part, I've reviewed X Plus in the past, but this is the first time I've had the experience or the pleasure of owning something uh, this massive uh, that's non X Plus. This is actually Mondo, and boy, did they come out swinging with this one. This is the limited edition version, um, and this represents Godzilla from the 1989 film. Right, which was the follow-up or the sequel to the one that was released here in 95, but technically, I guess, in Japan it was even before. So this piece, this is a statue. It's not too, too heavy, but it definitely has weight to it. So it's, it's, it's heavier and it's more of a statue than, say, like the X-Plus uh, soft vinyl statues. But look at this guy. Look at the detail. Now, I have the exclusive pieces worked in. This is the limited edition. Uh, it does come standard without the, the breath, mouth, and then without the... Uh, the extra hand that comes, the damaged hand, the battle damage hand with the thorn coming in through his hand there, as you can see. So just to show you that I have the limited and what the limited is, I started the review showing the, that stuff first. So obviously this is magnetized, this comes out, okay? And then you have the option to switch them out. So I'm gonna switch the pieces up so you can see the different variations you can have with this thing. Okay, so just like that, as you can see, now I have the closed mouth version, which by the way, I think other than having the, uh, the fire coming out, which I think is the coolest. This is the second coolest look. I always like the closed mouth look for any Godzilla figure, uh, whether it's X Plus or what have you. So beautiful portrait, as you can see there with the closed mouth. Now, as you can see here, just to show you how easy it is to change these parts, you just pull it out, they're all magnetized. So here's the non-damaged hand that would come with the standard edition if you didn't have the this limited one. So this is by default what you'd have. Uh, I don't know if the standard comes with this still removable since you don't have the option of putting this one on I, I would imagine that the standard one this arm is kind of permanent i don't know um but regardless uh this would be your only choice if you have the standard so not a big deal i mean this is not um a deal breaker if you couldn't have this let's say if, the, if you got the standard i know sideshow had the standard ones i got lucky and found somebody on ebay that was selling this for a very fair price almost market still uh, considering it's the limited because the limited and the standard weren't that much different in the price range when they were both available for pre-order it's just that these went faster so I was lucky to get this one pretty much at cost like almost the original cost slightly higher but when you factor in shipping and taxes I think I pretty much just paid the same as if I would have snagged this off a site like Sideshow or something like that um, so there again the company logo Mondo here is the box the premium format statue there's the logo Beautiful. Looks like a nice poster work, right, from the movie. All right, look at that. Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> that's what I always. That's why I always referred to this. It looks like it was like if, it was like a what if if Godzilla fought Little Shop of Horrors, right? Um, and they have a nice little piece there, as you can see there. There he is, right? Nice little diorama. This also can be easily removed. See, it just fits right in there, and it's also it's not magnetized. It just kind of plugs in there and kind of rests there on the base. Also, you could see the damaged vehicle in there that was like in the film. And which is also a nice touch. The tail is beautiful. The tail wraps around and hugs it so that um, you don't have to worry about the tail sticking out like some of the X pluses. It kind of just works right around into the base perfectly. So what you see is what you get as far as the uh, the space that you would need to put this on a shelf. Nothing sticking out in the back that would you know require an open space you know behind them, which is nice. So that's that. So now here's the other mouthpiece. So so the standard edition comes with the closed mouth, right? And then you can pull this off. The magnetizedness is pretty strong, so once it's on there, it's pretty sturdy. And then there's the open mouth, right? So you can have either look like that, or finally you can have it with the, the breath coming out, like I had in the start of the video. So very easily interchangeable, very easily done, and really awesome. For, for, I don't know if Mondo's ever done any Godzilla stuff before, but if if because I really haven't been following them very closely as far as in that department or that genre. But if this is their first, wow, they definitely came out swinging. Um, this is so, so massive and impressive. It's, it's, it's a little bigger than a, than a 30 centimeter Godzilla. Um, if you take them off the base and just put them flat without the base, it's not that much taller than the 30 centimeter. I would say this is more, 
uh, probably, if I had to guess, maybe a 35 centimeter, something like that, maybe around, uh, you know, like 18 to 20 inches kind of thing. If you also put the base in, um, you know, if you factor the base or the height in there, but it's, it's pretty massive. It's, it's definitely a, a showstopper. Anybody coming in and seeing this, I mean, if this was the one Godzilla statue you had, you're good. Um, I love this look too, because I always liked the, uh, the Godzilla look from that time when they brought him back in the 80s. And, you know, if, you like, if you're a fan of the 85 or technically 84, this still does the job because he pretty much had the same, basically the same look from that film to this 89 sequel. So beautifully, do beautifully done, beautifully crafted. Um, again, you know, the fire breath, if you can get the uh, limited, great. Um, you know, you got an extra couple of little, you know, accessories to play with. But definitely either way, even if you did not have this and you just had, you know, this, this is still impressive, okay? My friend has a standard one, and that's what motivated me to go out and get one. And honestly, I would have been perfectly happy just having this alone. Um, this is just kind of like the cherry on top if you can get your hands on these. But other than that, this is an impressive piece either way, and it, it's a showstopper even as is. So five-star review for me. I got no issues with this piece. I love it. The paintwork the presence of it, the weight of it, everything is just like dead on. I mean, look at the look at the amount of boxes that it came in. It was like double boxed, plus another box, plus this box. It's like, you know, as far as like durability and protection, Mondo did a great job with, with everything here, including the way they packaged it, everything. So I just wanted to add and throw in here, and I, I'm editing this to wedge right in there. So sorry for the uh, the disruption or the uh, the rough cut here, but... Uh, after I had finished the review, I, I noticed also that they, they do have on the bottom of the base the logo and also showing the company name, the address, you know, Toho, and then the number, limited edition 283. So this is 283 of 300. So I just got mine in time before they were all gone. <laughs> well, we know that we can't control which number we get, but I'm, the, I, I got, I'm in there. I'm in, this is within the 300 made uh, that has those special bonus features with the fire breath and the... Uh, the damage battle damaged hand with the thorn going in it so um from biolante so just wanted to add that real quick to the review to show you guys this is the bottom of the base if you lay it down see there he is all right so that is really cool all right so back to my regularly scheduled program review so five stars guys five out of five if you have a chance if you're a godzilla fan if you're if you even if you're an x plus fan uh if you have the chance to pick this one up i say go for it all right guys till next time job is 34 peace out